Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello, this is Buona McCall of Buona.tv for chris.perillo.com and live.perillo.com and today I want to talk about something very very cool especially if you're into astrology and planets and stars and smashing planets together and destroying everything with a black hole <laughs> the product I'm going to talk about is Universe Sandbox created by Dan Dixon and you can go there to universesandbox.com download a free demo today or you can buy it let's see how much it costs $25 US PayPal, Google, and Money Bookers. Now, a little bit about Universe Sandbox. It allows you to create an interactive space simulator on Windows-based PCs. Now, it doesn't work on Mac currently, but uh, if you have a Windows box, you're definitely going to enjoy this. And it does a lot of cool things that if you go to the main page, there is a video here which gives you a good introduction of what it can do very, very quickly. Now, here's some bullet points. You can you can look at our solar system existing stuff that's out there you know if you want to learn about the current solar system uh, if you want to look at the nearest a thousand stars to our suns and our local group of galaxies but the cool thing about this is that you can simulate your own custom scenarios so if you want to create your own bodies your own gravitational scenarios and your own you know just destructions you can do that within this simulator and you can learn something in the process <laughs> Excuse me. So, let's go ahead and dive right in. This is what it looks like. Universe Sandbox can run in a window or it can run full screen. I have it running in a window right here. On the right side, you'll notice that we have menus here. New, open, save, settings, exit, fun things to do, which we're going to get to in a minute, feedback, some info regarding it, and help links. On the left side is where we actually have our sandbox where we can actually play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the menu here. Let's get right into it. Now you can navigate with the keyboard or mouse. And right now I'm not moving, but I'm going to start time here. Notice in the top left we have our time indicator as well as our time step and one real second equals in this case one point something almost two hours which I can speed up with the keyboard by hitting E and D if I keep pressing E I can speed up time and see the earth spinning pretty fast and you can see the moon going now what if I want to catch the moon as it's going off screen I can use the mouse to rotate let me slow down a little bit first so I can catch it I can slow down and you can see the moon there but it's kind of like a dot so let's go ahead click on it with the mouse and zzzz, and wow we zoom right into the moon and we can use the mouse wheel or we can use the W and S keys to zoom in and out. That's the dark side of the moon and the light side. Now if you get yourself lost, these are just the basics, but if you get lost you can just hit the home key and it'll take you back to the center point of reference and that's Earth. So I can spin it around and see the moon going. Now this is the the, the, the pretty basic stuff now you can also right click now this is where the cool stuff really kicks in you right click anywhere and you get a ton of options of things to do there's a system properties system commands view controls new bodies <laughs> cool huh and you can capture screenshots high res stuff or you can do movies uh, I can click away just to remove all this stuff and you can also right click on the bodies to get your own context sensitive stuff for that particular body in this case I get some earth commands where I can <laughs> I can blow it up if I want to I can create rings I can do light pulse and comet trails and all kinds of cool stuff I'm not gonna get into all of this because <laughs> it could take up a lot of time but there are some cool simulations that can show you what just what this tool can do now what I'm looking at is a pre-configured system called earth and moon and if you hit control O or just go to the menu and hit uh, open you can open a bunch of these pre-configured systems and here's a here's a couple for you to look at I'm gonna go to uh, let's see here Neptune and moons <clears throat> and you can see it's going kinda fast so I'm gonna slow it down by hitting the D key and zoom in with the mouse and you can pan around and look around and check out Neptune up close and personal. Isn't that cool? 
<laughs> Wee. And then I'm going to hit Control O again. And I'm going to go and open. Let's look at some constellations. Yeah, they got constellations here as well. And here's the sun. And I can move around the sun and look at certain parts of the sky. So far, I only see one constellation. I can zoom out and get a glimpse of everything that's out here if I there we go so there are some more constellations for you to take a gander at and again I can click on these bodies and zoom in on it and these are the names of the stars that make up those constellations and if I get lost I can just hit home and go back to the home reference so let's go ahead open another one uh, Let's do Mars. Yeah, Mars. Let's slow it down a tad. So as you can see, these things, these planets and bodies, they're very photorealistic. They look pretty much like what I imagine the planets look like. So you can get a visual representation of what's going on. And finally, let's have some fun. Let's open up the Death Star. <laughs> Orbiting Endor. Check this out. Here's the Death Star, folks. Orbiting indoor. Dun 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 dun. Oh, join me. Anyway, <laughs> so that's some of the things you can do as far as just with the pre-configured systems. Now let's have a little fun. Now I, I barely scratched the surface on all the things you can do, but now that I got the uh, Death Star up here, let's go ahead and have a little fun. I'm gonna go up to the menu here. And I'm going to click on fun things to do. And when you install this, I highly recommend you jump into this because it will teach you some of the ways to have fun with this tool. I'm going to go to blow up the Death Star because we know that's going to happen, right? Watch the havoc unfold on the, moon of, on the moon of Endor. So here we get to see the effects on Endor <laughs> that the Death Star created when it exploded. Now, they didn't answer that in the movie, but we can answer it in Universe Sandbox. So first it tells us to load the Death Star orbiting indoor. We've already done that. Turn off trails to improve simulation speed and labels to reduce visual clutter. Well, I don't know how to do all that. It tells you. Cool. Right click anywhere to bring up the control panel and find view controls. And view controls. View controls. Where are view? Oh, here we go. These must be the view controls because I see labels here and I see trails. So it says click on the trails button to turn off trails. So trails are off. Click on the labels to turn off labels. And labels are off. Cool. And get rid of that. Now it says destroy the battle station. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Right click on the Death Star and find the Death Star command. So I'm going to right click on that. And the Death Star commands, these are a little cluttered. But uh, there it is. Since I got the screen reduced for this screencast. Um, some of the labels are being covered up, but if you if you expand it on your system, you'll be able to see it clearer. I'm going to set explode here. You know what? I'm not going to be able to. Let's see. I'll make it bigger just for. Let's make it a tad bit bigger just for the simulation. There we go. So Death Star commands. It says on the right to uh, set the explode number currently at 13 to around 100 and that's this number here so I'm gonna kick it up a notch yeah bam and then set the uh, yeah that's all you had to do is set the explode number then click on the explode button now when I do this I'm gonna go ahead and resize it again now when I click on the explode button watch this <laughs> Wahoo! Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. <laughs> so we can clearly see the impact points here on Endor when the Death Star exploded. So some people on Endor probably got pretty banged up when that happened, but they didn't show that in Lucas's film. All this debris flying everywhere and, you know stormtrooper parts everywhere anyway <laughs> so indoor gets pummeled with debris from the explosion and it tells you so these are just some of the cool things that you can do with universe sandbox and I highly recommend you go check it out at least 
at least check out the demonstration so that you can uh you know just get a glimpse of what it can do and i think it's worth 25 dollars especially if you're into uh into astrology and you're into stars and planets and physics because you can play with the gravity on these things like i said i barely scratched the surface on all the little features that you can do and again you can reach this by going to universesandbox.com you can download a free demonstration i believe it's a uh, a one hour demo i think it's uh, unlimited and uh you can buy it for $25. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv for Chris.Perillo.com and the Live.Perillo.com community. We'll eat you later, I think. Well, I'll see you later anyway. Goodbye.